I live in the mountains of Colorado, and I work for Mr. Edwin James, the founder of the Columbine. My name is Alice, and I know almost everything about the Columbine. Columbines are from the family of Alquilegia, and they are Colorado's state flower. They come in lots of beautiful colors and is a symbol of Colorado. They can grow up to 20 inches tall. One day, during the long summer of 1899, I was serving Mr. James in his office when he was looking down at some papers. I was talking about an interesting flower that I saw up the hill. Right away, he wanted to discover more. It was the Columbine. On the way to the mountain, I had to carry all of Mr. James's things on my back like a mule. He had no respect for me as a person. I never wanted this, to be a personal assistant, but it was the only job available. We had to look for this beautiful flower when all of a sudden this wild animal comes up and crashes the path. The animal was a mountain lion and it would not let us through. I found the flower and showed it to Mr. James. Then Mr. James pushed me down the mountain with the flower. On the way down the mountain, I dropped the flower from my hand and it was lost. I couldn't find it in time. I knew Mr. James would be angry. Mr. James found out that the flower was missing. He yells and shouts. I shout back and run away crying. I try to be kind but he gives no respect to me. Run up the hill where we found the first beautiful flower, but then I trip up the hill into the tall grass. Over the horizon, I see another flower. It is exactly like the one we first saw. I run back, wiping my tears away, to show Mr. James the flower. As I run back down the mountain, back to Mr. James, there are lots of bugs around. These bugs are caterpillars, butterflies, and all kinds of moths. They feed on columbines for their food. Since there are now over 70 different species of this flower, I had to make sure I have gotten the right one. I am now down the mountain and outside the workshop. I see Mr. James pacing on the inside and looking furious. I walk in slowly as he looks at me with a glaring look. I hand him the flower and step back. He looks at me, then the flower, then me again. He shouts with joy and runs to his desk. Is he proud of me? Have I done something right? He heads to town. As he's leaving, he tells me, watch the shop. I'm telling everyone I found a new discovery. Days later, Mr. Edwin James became a household name and lots of people had grown columbines in their yards. I quit my job and I opened a flower shop and sold mainly columbines along with many other flowers. Mr. James became a member of the U.S. government's scientific expedition. The columbine discovery inspired him to go out and discover more in the world.